primalists are attacking. Get our defenses back and running. Back up. <clears throat> Assemble the defenses, not the Avengers. The primalists have been hunting the Kirintor since we arrived in the Azur span. They detest our practice of arcane magic. I'll send word to Kaligos to return from the Azur archives. In the meantime, we need to hold them off. It seems that one of our main arcane defenses was destroyed in their initial attack. Bring the pieces back to me and I can reassemble it. We'll speak soon. Well, preservation of knowledge. Until we meet again. Good evening, Torin. I am Alphanos. I wish we could have met in a less chaotic time. We were helping the kid in tour to study the history of this place just a few moments before the Primalists attacked. I fear several tomes may still be out there at risk of being destroyed in this dreadful assault. Please, you must recover these tomes. If they are destroyed, the history of this place will be lost. That's terrible. Honor um, supporting the Cobalt Assembly. Tyrael, excellent timing. Have you heard of the Cobalt Assembly? It was once a wondrous place where most of my kin lived. The Sundered Flame forced us out and have taken it over. There was a hope that we could take it from them, but the latest information from there shows we are fighting a losing battle. Can you lend us your support? Meet Vendi within the Cobalt Assembly if you can. Alright. Um... Do I have to care for... No, they're not shooting at us. Okay. self-transformation fancy what is that what happens if we take that scroll the scroll is the property of Lodan the magnificent the brightest of all arcane users master of a magical adaptation and binding the secret to a fancier lifestyle is harbored within these runes of power oh boy um please remain seated <laughs> what um Okay. Um, never mind. It's good to see you. Aspects grace shine down on you. Wrath of the Kirintor. I've assembled the pieces of the device you recovered. Place it near Khadgar and use it to repel the Primalists. We just need to hold out a little longer uh, until Kaligos arrives. All right. We just need to hold them off a little longer. Kaligos should be here soon. I'll shield you for oh. as long as I can. Whoa, Take destroy them all! I don't need Kalagos. No, I'm just going to obliterate all of them on my own. Fine work. Hold them. More primalists are coming. Fall back. We'll set up defensive positions. I'll shield you um, for as long as I didn't can. Didn't he say fall? Fall back? Um, he said fall back, right? Wait, do I have to do it again now? I don't quite understand. So he did fall, say fall back, but we, do, we weren't supposed to exit um, this. Uh, are we starting anew now? Yeah, we are. Okay, so when he says fall back, um, you're not supposed to get out of the vehicle. That's, that's a bit of a bummer. I mean, that wasn't very intuitive. 
as a quest design. I mean, he said fall back, so I'm. I thought get out and then get back, but no. It just means ignore what he says and keep on shooting. Fine work. Hold on. More primalists are coming. Fall back. We'll set up defensive positions. The Kirin Tor shall not fall to these monsters. I must return to the Archives. Send help when you can. The Azure Old Stone is proving difficult to reclaim. I need to fend off the looks primalists looks to the east. It may fall on you to aid Kalagos' adventure. So considering that he only has 80k um, HP this add-on, it kind of means he's not that important. <laughs> Usually he has a couple million. <laughs> Okay. How are you, Traveler? If you see anything remarkable, let me know. Meeting Galigos. I fear we will have to split our attention. The primalist threat to the east must be handled. I must ask you to travel to the Azure Archives in my stead to aid Galigos in reclaiming the Azure Oath Stone. You'll need to pick up a few supplies to help you with whatever is happening there. Speak with our portal quartermaster. I ought to have something that can aid you along the way. Good luck, Tyrael. Kaligos will appreciate the aid. Oh, the bag of helpful goods. Uh, oh. don't let them. We'll handle Whatever that is. I'm counting on you to aid Kaligos, adventure. How can I help? Clear skies and safe journeys. Always glad to help. By the titans, this old thing sure clings to its secrets. My wares are of the finest quality. Custodian Vernagos. To return to these spaces is indescribable. Never would I have imagined the energies of the world funneled back into the titans' creations. As for the Kirintor, well, they ask many questions. Oh, but my goodness, can they put up a fight? You'll find nothing better in the aisles. Anything interesting here? Oh, he can. Oh, he also sells. I mean, or she, conveniently packed ingredients mm -hmm. and a fishing pole. Do we even need a fishing pole? Hmm. I don't know. May we trade again soon? Tending the forge. If you're looking for an instructor, I'm sorry to say I am. <coughs> ah, you're not my apprentice. Uh, no, you're not in apprentice. <coughs> my apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Custodian Verenagos, one of the caretakers of these ruins. More specifically, the task of restoring this workspace to its former glory has fallen upon my very tired shoulders. Would you be able to lend a hand? All the reagents I need are nearby. Icy element, ice elemental cores, ember cones, horn swag leather. Fairly standard, easily gathered stuff. What say you? I am always. I say at let's go! Service. Wait, we need to go outside. Oh boy. Wait, do we have to do that? Stop. Wait, what? Um. Okay. I was about to say we we can just pick it up here, but nope. And uh, we have two more quests. <laughs> Seriously, twelve? Isn't that a bit much, Blizzard? And how is he supposed to carry 12 of these? But okay, that's a bit unfair since... <laughs> how is he supposed to carry all of this? <laughs> I mean, there are games out there. Um, like... <laughs> a certain walking simulator. Trying to simulate what it actually means if you can only carry... So much. And it's no fun at all. It just sucks. I mean, seriously. Imagine you could only... I don't know, have a tiny bag, like in real life. And all that you could take with you is, um, well, fittable in a small pocket. That was just, that wouldn't be a game that is fun. People want some sort of realism, but not that much. There is a level that's just no fun anymore, and at that point nobody's going to play the game.
I mean, no, let me rephrase. There is always going to be someone playing the game. But the majority of the potential customer base in gaming, in a certain genre, will not play that game. Simply because it's not fun enough. Right, Shady Scattershot. Welcome. Path to nowhere. Are you looking like a well in the adventure? How would you like to help out the Dragon Scale Expedition? We've got ourselves a lovely camp in the middle of a nice bit of wilderness. There's plenty for you to do if you like to take the trip over there. Talk to me, sis. Betty, when we get there. Uh, she'll get you all settled in. Watch your back. Alrighty. And there's oh, another hunt something, kill something, always kill something. Fred jealous. The page's script glows with a soft blue magic. Previously a cherished plaything of Maligos, the elemental Figellus suffered from his master's neglect, while this once happy settlement crumbled apart. The pace. Now, the churlish and playful creature grew warped and twisted by the evils that plagued this land. Please see that it is safely neutralized. Okie dokie. <laughs> Supply portal. That's convenient. Hello there! Need anything from Deleron? Oh, just say the word and I'll let track it down and get it to you. Um, Kadga said you uh, maybe have a couple legendary items for me. Uh, specifically level, item level 500. Thank you. <laughs> One can try. Um, okay. Oh, this is the... In case Kadgar isn't available, bring this package. We've got one more left. Here it is. Come back if you need anything else. Uh, do I even ask? Better not. The bag is much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. It holds a massive amount of goods you can only assume will be helpful. <laughs> Hopefully it will be helpful, oh boy. Oh, I, I also have to start the quest, sorry. Alright, and this we can move down here. Old stone tusks, tusk. Old stone tusks, tusk, alright. Um, this is actually one of the more problematic topics when people have pets. Obviously, at some point, the quality of life of your pet, while um, maybe because of age or illness or cancer or something, will be greatly diminished. And um, at some point, usually um, after speaking to a veterinarian, the owners slash the family slash the humans that care for the animal decide to humanely euthanize the animal. So usually um, it gets sedated and then the heart gets stopped by a veterinarian. Um, and that's an extremely difficult choice. And some humans are not able to do that. They um, cannot part from their beloved animal and then they're going to let it suffer for weeks or months whilst it has only a minimal quality of life. But then again, there is a tiny problem called an animal can't tell you I want to live or not. I mean, you can try to see the quality of life that your animal has by watching how does it react? Is it only laying on the ground? Is it still jumping around? Does it want to have fun or sport or anything like that? Um, so a human can try to Sarah deposit. Mm -hmm. Try to get close to the whole is my animal still happy in life thing, but then again, animals can't exactly speak. So it's extremely difficult to make a life and death decision with um, something you love, like a, a pet, without it being able to tell you, I want to live. I mean, maybe. Even though the animal is suffering from a lot of pain, it still wants to live, but you're never going to, to know that. That's something... It's a thought that bothers me greatly. What if you humanely euthanize your pet, your friend, your companion against its will? 
Oh boy. I mean, but in that sense, animals have it a bit easier than humans. Um, animals usually leave life when their quality of life diminishes greatly, but humans? No. Humans can't do that. Humans have to suffer until the last nanosecond. Until um, they bathe themselves in pain and blood for years. Until even the last doctor, until the last machine can't keep them alive anymore. So whilst animals can usually die in relative peace, humans usually have to suffer until the end. There are only very few humans who actually decide to actively end their life when it, when the quality of life greatly diminishes. Anyway, um, let's do the Azure Span Sprint. This course takes looping routes through some of the most, the most, wait, some of the most, the beautiful. Or I shouldn't say some of the most, comma, beautiful, and ancient forests in the Azure Span. Is that correct English? Hmm. Anyway, I would like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. May the water protect you. For gold, we would have to make it three seconds faster. I mean, I kind of the slowed down flow. in the middle of it, so we should be able to do it. Of course, we need gold. We did it! Gold! Well done! Alrighty. Um, Frigella slain. Alrighty. It's quite interesting that the game says we need three people for a 250k mob, and in ordinary quests where we need to slay a boss, it has 300k. The quest is not at all demanding us to get so many of them. So I'm not sure why this is a three-man quest now, even though it has less HP than the other ones. Anyway.
Frostland flyover. What's that? Oh, that's the, oh, that's the next two. There's another one here. All right, let's do that too. The Isle. Greetings, Dragon Rider. Are you ready for a brisk, wintry ride? The Frostland flyover loops around the upper Frostlands through snow-dusted trees and icy peaks. Would you like to try it? Uh, try it. I do hope you're wearing something warm under that armor. Oh boy. Go. Okay, we can do that. actually made gold whoa easily six seconds oh okie dokie i don't expect that one all right so um let's finish all of these quests here at least the one we can my wares are of the finest quality jealous. yeah let's hope there are more find prizes oh. in the isles uh, Ark, Arch Enchanter Celestia. Setting the defense. Custodian Sinigos and I were just discussing the impact the Prime Minister attack has had on the plans to salt the Cobalt Assembly, and I had an idea. Celestia withdraws a wand from the folds of her robes. Take my wand and empower their weapons. A little bit of fire should do the trick. Safe travels. Well, fight fire with fire, right? And if you fight ice, fire will also be good. Protect the innocent. The aspects have returned. Oh, have a nesting worry. Good say, sir. Oh, the thrill Shadow in the ice. I've heard whispers while passing through Camp Antonidas. Talk of mutilated fauna being found across the icy steps. Something some nothing more than bloody splatters. Whatever it is, I've got uh, it's got the major scared and made the local wildlife scarce. Bog around the top of the glacier. If I was a better betting dwarf, I'd say that's where any apex predator worth its salt would stake its claim. Bring me a piece of it so we can soothe the killing door. All right. Um, but still, how do I? Okay, we have a quest item, but I can't use it. How am I supposed to? Ah, okay, we can use it. Oh, that's it. All right, so we can end the quest with a forge, and then we're going for Frost Fist's eye. You'll find nothing better in the Isles. Fresh air and magical relics. Oh, what more could one ask for, huh? The Isles hold Thank you. many wonders. And the ember cones will burn hot. The elemental cores will temper the heat, and this leather, oh, is fairly disgusting. 
But that bellows they produce will be more, more than suffice. Now all... No, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've been playing too much already. Today again. And um, hmm. now all I need is time. I am always at your service. Let's start. Um, I'm tossing a couple ember cones in there. Ah, aspect to be praised. It worked. Um, it will take me some time to forge the bellows and restore the rest of the workshop. But this is a fine start. Wait, do we have another daily quest here? Wait, what is that? It's too far away. Mysterious forge. Recraft a quick. Okay, so it does count as a forge. Hmm. Interesting. Um, let's get that one out of the way. First craft. Going to sell it anyway. Alright. Oh! That's mighty nice quality. Um, I'd like to get rid of something I don't need. How about 22 stamina? Bah, goodbye. Nobody needs you. So you go there, fishing pole, there, there you go, well. Problem of course still is we only have 37, we need more. So the question is are we going to do this? Are we going to craft this several times? Cascade, or we also could go for primal molten alloy. Probably going to do that, we need that anyway later. For the really, really good items. Now we have 38. Yeah, we still need two more. Yeah, let's do another Explorer Expert Greaves. Alright, so now we have 41. Which is kind of great. Flask of Stamina. Yeah, we're going to use it eventually. Uh, blacksmithing Trainer, hello there. Goods in the Isles. Draconium Great Axe. Uh -huh. Explorer's Expert Gauntlet. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> now look at that one. The Isles now that's a nice items. item that we can use for ourselves. Explorer's Expert Gauntlets. Hello there. What happens if I put some... Oh, I can't. Okay. Create. Then we have Mighty Gauntlets. Whoa! Nice. The quality. Hello there. 343. Damn. Whoa. <laughs> 252k. Okay. Now that's something. Alright, so I'd like to chain. Uh, selfless collector's gauntlets. Yes, yes. Alrighty. Well, that's looking fine. Your needs can be met here. Um, next recipe we're going to get with 45. You'll find nothing better in the so we need 45. Two more. Oh, Draconium Great Axe. Let's do it. First time, anyway. Alright. So, Draconium Great Axe in magnificent quality. I mean, honestly, that's kind of great for our spec. Retribution, even though I don't even have that right now. Eat at your own risk. Questionable Mushroom. Coffee, Goblin Glider, Hearthstone. Goodbye, Banana Beef Pudding. You go there, you go there. Now, expedition yet. I have many, many wares. Buy all the items I don't need. You also goodbye. Good now we can learn friends. the next recipe. Train me in blacksmithing. Experts. Bo oh, another item that I can use. Well, hello there. Oh, my watch is reminding me to move. 250 steps left this hour. <laughs> okay. May we Except. trade again soon. Blacksmithing. Uh, specialization 6. Okay. Resourcefulness when crafting plate armor. Head, shoulder, feet. Yeah, we will do head, shoulder, feet now. 1, 2, 5. Apply knowledge. Let's improve that further. Oh, wait. We can actually unlock... Oh, no. Ah, oh, no, we can't. Can't unlock the next one. Yet. Experts boulders. Ah, okay. That's not okay. 
Mining, refine. We can refine that. But we don't have enough yet. So we need more draconium. And then we're going to... Oh. Hmm. Wait, expected quality even though our reagents are... a weak? Are you serious, game? Oh, actually, yes. Are you seeing that? Interesting. So even though we had mediocre reagents, it didn't matter because we had a lot of inspiration and skill. Well, that is mighty interesting. All right, so we have Explorers, Experts, Boulders, perfect. 78% improvement. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Ah, professions, I like them. All right. How would that look? Yeah, bad. All right. Apply. Door in it. 255k, that's a lot. So goodbyes folders. So for the next item, we would need um, level 50. Then we could, oh, we could do the helmet. We definitely need the helmet, but we lack the resources. You'll find nothing. All right. Nice. I mean, this is actually useful. And that's kind of surprising. You hear muffled muttering coming from the other end of the portal. Hey! Hey you! I have some mail for the apprentices in the field. Care packages, gifts, things they've ordered via magical courtiers, legendary items, 10 trillion gold in a little pouch. <laughs> Standard fare, really. Uh, mind doing me a favor and handing them out? Hmm. <clears throat> yes, sir. All right. Talk to the wait. Why do we have to talk to it? I'm ready to deliver mail. You're delivering mail. What? From mail to a kid into apprentice. <laughs> what? Need assistance? Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is kind of uncommon in Europe. Um, I mean, there I've seen the videos of the United States of America where the mailman comes with a morning post or something and just throws it on the porch. Um, in Europe, that would really happen, since people would immediately come and say, oh, "It's dirty." Um, wow, I like that. Magical post bringing. Hello there. Triple finned head, Highland Drake. Okay, I like it. Oh, are you seeing that on the map? There are a lot of expedition scouts packs here. We just have to find them. Uh, oh wait, no. Reach Renown 2 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Wait, we have Renown 2 with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Is it above there? What is he doing there? Oh, there you are. All right. All righty. Increase your Dragon Isle's blacksmithing knowledge by one. Okie dokie. Fisherman Tinak slain. Mm -hmm. Frostfire Eye. Oh, there are two quests here. What? Um, okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's one quest with two parts? I don't know. Fisherman is below us, even though it should say the, I mean, um, show the below sign. And we do not have this as a quest, which is odd. Hmm. I have no idea what that's about. And I have no idea why these two people just disappeared. Hmm. Fisherman Tinex Slain, who are you? Why do you exist? Why is the game carrying Fisherman Tinak? Uh uh Okay. What? I don't understand. Where is he? Char Target Fish. Oh, rare oh oh boy. Um, I'd like to fight that. Apparently it's very important to kill it, but I'm alone and has four and a half million HP. So... Um, yeah, let's... But I'm a tank, the problem is I'm going to get aggro. Wait, why is he doing... Why are they doing so much damage? I only lost 20 HP, oh my goodness, what's happening? So... interesting. I mean, sure, let's try to kill it. I'm going to heal them. I'm going to heal him so we can actually win this. So I'm uh, on paper I'm a tank but uh, now in reality I'm going to be a healer. I mean this is a bit hilarious. We're actually killing it. I mean, uh, DD is a tank, a tank is a healer. <laughs> I'm not, I have no idea what Low Shock is doing and doing damage. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Wait, don't I have an ability? Talent? Oh! Yeah, I need to get that talent. Taunting. When activating Divine Shield is extremely important in my playstyle. And I can just activate Bubble. It's still a aggro from the boss, especially in raids. That's great. It will basically give you a little immunity bubble without losing aggro. Oh, look at that! A rare elite elemental, millions of HP, and all we get is nothing. Thank you, game. Um, where's the ghost now? It is below us, isn't it? I mean, that's it's because th this is ridiculous. The game is telling us, yo, there is something. And then two nanoseconds later, nope, uh, nothing. <laughs> it's just mean. Why is the game mean to me? I'm always trying to do the right thing and reality comes and says, yo, I don't give a shit. You are going to suffer. Oh boy. Ah, we less, uh, we, we lack vigor. And somewhere there is an expedition scout pack. I can only assume it's up top. And on this level there's a draconium deposit. Definitely going to get that one.
So, oh, there are only elite mobs here. What is this? What is this place? Bonded flame supply crate. Uh, oh no, it's gone. Ah, oh, wonderful. So let's see if we can get up top here. Simply via stair. Nope, there's no stair here. Okay. Yeah, obviously this is um, a part for later. We're, we're not there yet. Uh, right now we need to just get on top of this building. Oh no! There is no dragon glyph up here. Just the expedition scout pack. Maybe the scout pack is inside the tower. Wait, let me see. It is inside the tower. We don't need to get to the top. Oh, never mind me. Good thing that our um, vigor was out. Slash, I didn't have any. Otherwise, I now would have spent quite a lot of time doing something absolutely bloody useless. Oh, oh boy. Okay, yeah, we need to get up top there. Okay, um, that's going to take us at least three vigor. Can we all... No, uh, the faction is still locked. Okay, I can't read anything here. And I saw a mad lad who's already on Reddit. He posted he's already level 25 with the Dragon Skill Expedition. He just bought a shitload of shovels and got all... The dirt mounds and um, with this he farmed for two and a half days straight and now he's level 25 with the dragon scale expedition which is a bit hilarious since that I mean it's supposed to take a long time and this guy was just like you know what I have 40 hours <clears throat> I don't need food I don't need sleep <laughs> I only need a shovel and there he well went See our profession. Can we do... No, we can't. So I do need more draconium ore, and then we can do our explorers, expert spoulders. Wait, no, 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 I, don't, I have that already. Right, no, we still need 50. Hmm. So I already made this. So it would make sense to do a draconium stiletto. Sell that. And then we're going for another item that we haven't yet built. Um, so we can get this bonus. Obviously, you might have noticed, we get a bonus for the first crafting of an item. So obviously we want that. Oh, hello there. Fenthic, Vlavar, Venveri... What's that? Oh, that's a player, a human player. Why is he so big? Oh, I drew it some. Wait, 440,000 HP? Are you k k k k k kidding me? Yo, bro, that's sick, yo. Alright. Heart of the little. That's sick, bro. Um, okay. Um, yeah, you know what? This is the next episode. Oh, wait, what's that? Keen Skywater. Why are there enemies in... Oh, oh this is not our territory. Mmm, never mind me. I thought this is our territory. No, it's not. There are evil, nasty dragons nearby. Oh my goodness, there are a lot of evil, nasty dragons nearby. Alright. So we're going to help Nezi. And Haleth the Wise. Next. Oh my goodness, what's happened to him? Is he dead? No. No, he's... A oh my goodness, he he's alive. Can I heal you? By the power of light, I compel you. Rise and shine, my big yeti. Rise and shine. Alright, now I feel good. Uh, goodbye.